。眼睛呢，应该是一个视觉器官。这个视觉器官呢，是比较特殊的一个器官。它可以通过我们一的仪器，就直接观察眼底的血管跟神经。那么从里面看呢，我们就直接可以判断这个人全身的一些病理性改变，比如说我们说的一些糖尿病。Over 100 million people across China live with diabetes. One of its major complications is diabetic retinopathy, or DR, a leading cause of blindness. It gradually blocks one's vision before eventually taking it away forever. If we can give a good treatment at the early stage, about 90% of the patients can prevent the development of the disease. Despite early intervention proving effective, carrying it out in China is another story. 据全国的统计，那么我们眼科医生有三万人，他集中在还是大城市，以这么一个数量的医生来服务那么一个大的人群是远远不够的。Now doctors see an even easier ophthalmic future, one powered by artificial intelligence. The human brain and eyes are masterpieces of evolution. The brain makes sense of what our eyes show us. You can effortlessly tell a pattern like this. That's a number nine. But for a computer, it suddenly becomes extremely difficult. When our brain learns the number nine, our brain will automatically remove many, many blocking images. When we remove the blocking images, we turn them into a structured computer program. We find that this is a difficult task to complete. To see like a human, the machine needs to function like the human brain. Scientists now use a new type of algorithm called a neural network to mimic the brain. 具体来说，我们是通过设定一个输入层、设定一个输出层，以及中间搭建若干个隐藏层。当我们有新的图像输入的到我们的神经网络之后，就像我们的神经单元放电一样，一层一层的将信息反馈到我们的输出层。To recognize a handwritten figure like the digit nine, the network will first divide the image into pixels and put them into the first layer starting process. Each layer in this network specializes in extracting specific features. First few layers break down the images into larger chunks of patterns. A nine is made up with a loop on the top and a vertical line on the bottom right. The next layers look for some lower-level features, smaller edges and corners that make up those patterns. As the recognition process breaks down into more subproblems, the network captures more features that help convince it. That this image is nothing other than the digit nine. 一开始，我们的神经网络就跟我们的婴儿的大脑一样，都是没有任何知识储备的。我们要不断的喂给他一些训练的数据，或者叫训练的样本。通过数据量的不断的增加，就会使得我们的网络越来越准确。It may seem meaningless to have a machine recognize digits, but what if that machine can be trained to read retinal images? And detect the early risks of diabetes. Experts say the excitement over neural networks comes from only needing to show it retinal images with diabetic retinopathy. It will find the features and slowly create a sort of special intuition to similar images. To a certain extent, we can use another patient, to test to see if the disease is completely recognizable. This is what we call accuracy. However, a neural network trained this way can only tell if you have the disease, but it can't explain its diagnosis. The machine can also be shown images with distinctive spots or bleeding circled by human doctors, and it can then learn to recognize the sign of disease. A well-trained AI device will be loaded onto portable equipment or even a handset to be deployed in more clinics around China. As machines started seeing more retinas, scientists have found that they started seeing things people didn't know were possible, things that have nothing to do with your eyes. 有趣的是，我们神经网络通过眼底图像的判读，能够判断其他的一些病变，比如说糖尿病肾病、糖尿病高血压病变以及年龄。
，这是一个普通的人类医生无法完成的任务，因为他未曾受到这样的知识训练，而这是一个新的知识。我们人类获得的这些知识，有一些是可以通过书本进行归纳，但是更多的知识实际上潜藏在我们的大脑深处，是只可意会不可言传的一些经验。而我们的机器学习、神经网络，恰恰可以将我们这样的一些潜藏的经验，也同时的固化和记录在我们的模型当中，使得它具有非常强的表达能力。李奥克复眼的边缘地区，那借助于这个计算机的远程的医疗诊疗，我们对一些早期疾病进行筛查，那么对一些特别是发病率高的疾病，阻止这类疾病对人体带来的健康损害，那么其实有益整个社会，有益。